Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Rover Turbo. On this video, quick video, we're doing something on the Weiss Astra, which is a 2014 Astra J 1.6 CDTI. She's been having problems recently with a lack of power, not massively, but just doesn't seem to be quite as much power there as there normally is. And it keeps going into a limp home mode engine light on no power have to turn it off turn it back on again and then the power is restored and it keeps coming up with a code in the ecu saying uh, boost threshold not reached or something like that so we're going to have a look i suspect it's the map sensor being blocked up with carbon and gunk so we're going to take that out we're going to have a look at it and then we're going to have a look at the code to clear them and take it for a test drive and see if we can actually get this sorted let's go on with it so this is how you take out a map sensor on one of these engines it's a b16 dth i believe this engine is so we've got a little plastic tab there you have to pull so that goes it's not plugged in so i can't do it but that goes in there that clip goes down there like that so you have to pull the clip out and then you basically push that tab in and it just pops out there is a little Torx screw in there, which is a 20. Take out that screw, pull that off. I had to spray a bit of WD-40 down around here because when it wasn't wanting to come out, I felt like it was going to snap off. Spray a little WD-40. And then it pulls out. And that is not good so that's just coke soot and stuff that's in the inlet manifold which is standard on, on any diesel engine uh, so any diesel engine that has a map sensor in it periodically you could do with cleaning it out so i'm going to give that i've got some brake cleaner rag and a soft paintbrush and i'm just going to give that a spray and give it a clean out and put it back in again then i'll Clear the codes and we'll take it for a drive and see whether that makes any difference to the low boost threshold code that we're getting. Right, so there you go. So I've cleaned it out. So hopefully, I don't know if you can make that out in there. It hasn't done any damage to the actual sensor inside. I have sprayed the brake clean in there, but so I'm just going to lubricate that O-ring with a bit of WD-40, put it back in, plug it in, get the scanner out, clear the code and take it for a drive. Diagnostics on, we've selected Vauxhall, uh, ignition's on, and we're going to do an automatic ID. I'm going to read the VIN, read the VIN, okay. Vauxhall Astra J, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it's got stop start. Uh, it is a manual. It is not equipped with whatever that is. I assume that's Xenons or something. I have no idea what the head-down control model is, so we'll just pick that one. It's not going to make any difference for what we require. Diagnosis, control unit, engine control module. It's going to have a crew switch code. Yeah, cruise control manufacturer switch circuit low voltage. I've replaced this steering wheel with a leather steering wheel because the other one was quite worn out. And 
the, it came with a different set of buttons. I don't think it'll make any difference, but it did. But the original steering wheel had two buttons on here. This has only got one. So obviously it's registering an issue with that. Anyway, not don't care about that. So we've got an engine underboost. So this is what we keep getting. So the PO299, so that's the code we keep getting. So we'll clear the codes. No faults detected. Engine control module. Let's go for some live data, induction data. We'll see if we can get up the boost level to see. So I'm guessing these two. And then we'll select graph. Start it up. Okay, I've taken it out for a spin. I can't really, I don't really drive it enough. I'd, it's not a particularly powerful model anyway. Anyway, I think it's 110 brake horsepower, something like that. Um, I drove, I don't really drive this car, but I drove it the other day and it was definitely lacking oomph. So maybe there's a little bit that's come back. I'm not sure. So anyway, that definitely needed cleaning. So that's the first thing on the road to sorting this problem. So we'll give it back to the wife and we'll see what she says. So the next thing is to uh, possibly look at the actual turbo itself, make sure it's okay, no play, it's not burning any oil, it's not using any oil, so I would have thought it's unlikely to be that. It could be the, bo the boost control uh, valve solenoid because the turbo is vacuum operated, so that's going to take the vacuum from the vacuum pump and then obviously, you know, supply vacuum to the to the actual turbo actuator so there's things that can be checked there so i've just checked it again there's no codes it's on the live data it seems to be reading that the desired and what it's actually reading seem to be the same so we'll give it back to her and we'll see what happens so there was just a little video just to show you what could be happening with your car if you have any diesel any modern ish diesel electronic diesel uh, not an old school mechanical diesel. It's going to have a map sensor in it. It's probably going to be blocked up. It happens. So give it a good clean out as I showed you and then, you know, see what happens. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.